I see that family means everything to you. Remember, these are collective tastes what resonates. But family means everything to you. Family can mean blood. It can mean soul. It can mean somebody that you see as part of your tribe. There are so many different forms of what family can mean. But the universal truth is that if somebody even gets to that category with you, it's an honor. It's an honor. It's something to not be taken lightly. Once you call somebody your family, blood related or not, they are part of your mission. Because you understand, you attract those people in and you, you continue to help them promote their highest timeline, loving themselves by you loving yourself. You have a soldier calling to you in the astral. This feels like love, a warrior. You've been hearing calls from whoever your divine is. You could be having different sleep schedules. You're seeing the infinity sign quite a bit. And you may even been noticing you're seeing a lot of names from the past. It's interesting. You have somebody that would like to join your team or wonders if there's still a spot for them. Somebody sees how grateful they should have been beforehand about the time, the attention, the effort you gave. How calling them your family, etc. was something to not be taken so lightly as they had. These are collective tastes that resonates. A lot of you here, this is love, but a lot of you, this could just be a friend that you had a deep bond with, etc. That realizes that they, even if it was subconsciously, they took advantage of your kindness and wonder if they still have the ability to be part of your family, your team, your tribe, etc. What does spirit have to say about whoever that person is? Well, literally. Wow. Okay. So, as you are having those nights of weird sleep schedules, etc., I feel you in recent times have very much been balancing what does justice mean? Does an eye for an eye truly matter or does it just make things worse? Maybe spirit balances what's meant for me. Not in the way that I thought at the beginning. Go with me here. I'm, I'm filling a whole channel. Okay. So in the beginning of our spiritual journey with karma and etc. We registered as like bad good. Oh, this happened to me. So therefore this is going to happen to me. I did this to somebody. So it's going to come back to me. Not realizing law of attraction, karma, etc. It's not somebody stole from you. So you're going to go steal from somebody or uh, you did something good. You paid something forward. So now somebody's going to pay something forward to you. What I've seen being in your eyes is a lot of high vibrational karma giving you so many gifts of clarity lately. I mean, you went through years and years of trauma and in at that point in your life, you're like, when is this, if this is all happening for me and not to me, when does the happen, like, when do I see it? Because it was like hit after hit after hit. You have worked for so long on raising the vibration of this existence and spirit knew You needed to receive all of your collected high frequency 
at a time when you no longer saw life as right and wrong. I do this, so this should happen. Over giving to others and then getting mad when they don't give back to you. We're not discrediting all of the effort and love you put into your family, etc. But if you if you go above and beyond for all these people and then they choose to not, you can't really be mad. It's true. You can't be mad at them because they didn't ask you to do that stuff. It doesn't discredit that it wasn't appreciated. It doesn't discredit that you know you're deserving of more. But those people, and when you hit those points of like, I, I have given to you and given to you and you just take from me, they're the ones that make it to where it doesn't happen again for you in the future. Where you can see, I can clear the day, see my return won't come back with this. You no longer are afraid of doing something wrong and fucking everything up. You understand your fear, etc. stems from what ifs. You can put who you are now in the shoes of your younger self and see the warning signs differently. See your actions differently. Spirit wants you to remind yourself of that with a specific person, too, that wants to come back into your community. That whole download was to remind you of... Very interesting. That whole download was to remind you of an eye for an eye. No, this one's taking a little bit longer. For you, my friend, there's most likely a person that you had a big spark for and it went away. You gave and gave to them just like you did to other people. And for some reason with them, it was that hit like, I ain't doing this anymore. I am not going to go above and beyond and think that if I do one thing wrong, if I stop giving, if I undergive, if I overgive, whatever, that... I fucked everything up. There's a person to where there, there was just some point. I feel your mind going so clustered to complete like. If I continue to give to you and allow you to give me nothing in return. I can't expect. My law of attraction to change. An eye for an eye. They keep making me go back to that. Okay. There was somebody that was deeply sleeping on your connection. They did not mean to be put into a category of those other individuals. And they're not excusing their actions. But there is somebody that truly wants to make up for it. And that's where things change. That's where effort, even a little bit, but it needs to be more in a little bit, goes a long way. There's a person that would like to be on your path again. I sense that they're following you already. So that means that they probably are still following you on social media, etc. They could try to leave cookie crumbs to gain your attention. Spirit wants you to know that with the eye for an eye with this person, I see it as almost your ego wants to say, oh, they ignored you in the past, so you should ignore them. That is not serving you, number one. That's not serving your highest timeline. You've had a lot of people that you ever gave to, and then as soon as you said bye, they let it. They just let it leave. Even if they wanted to say they were sorry, even if they wanted to still stay with you, they didn't give effort back. There's a person in your life who fit that category but has already stepped out of it and we're going back to the eye for an eye when this person presents themselves to you if they haven't already spirit wants you to look back 
on all the growth you've developed within this past year of either knowing them, being separated from them, or going through trials and errors because they are still collective, so it takes what resonates. No matter what, something about a year download. Look at everything that came from the destruction, from the disturbance, from the realization, all the downloads you received in life because of this person. Because they stepped in your life. Just like they are, I'm seeing them presenting themselves to you with authenticity. Other people had the same amount of freedom of will to do that, but chose not to. So there is a big difference when somebody makes those actions and doesn't just say something, they also follow through with it. A person's itching to have a deeper connection with you. So is this person going to bring more value or add value to your life is what we should say. Well, they've put themselves in your shoes and, and they see to be by your side, they have to be willing to follow the grind. Willing to follow the grind. So you're somebody that has a lot on your plate. And your sweetness doesn't go unnoticed. Your hard work doesn't go unnoticed. This person absolutely is part of your highest timeline because I'm seeing no disturbance of your grind. I'm seeing somebody who understands you will not be able to give them attention all the time, which is toxic anyways to try to always give somebody all of your attention. That slow and steady wins the race when it comes to you, but they're having to jog to catch up. I don't like saying it like they're behind or anything like that, but it, it does feel like you're they're falling behind your steps and they know their place in existence, not their place with you. They know that they're a feminine or a masculine, etc. They know the responsibility that you hold. This person deeply w has a sense of what if. What if I would have done this differently? What if I would have not said that? Hmm. During your time of separation, they have gone into a deep amount of shadow work. They do have something to truly offer you. I sense that they want to explore different avenues than the two of you ever were when you were together in the past or talking. They don't want to hold you back. And they want you to be blunt and honest and open about what did I do that hurt you in the past? What, what do I have to do to show you I was scared that the sweetness you gave me, I had never experienced that before. It was like everything I've ever wanted popped right in front of me and I didn't know how to say yes to it. Somebody that goes into deep self-analyzation. Two people that have deeply worked on self-love and know that they're more than enough. I have so many different conversations happening right now between you and this person. There's a deep sexual attraction, but that's not going to be the forefront centered thing. And I sense actually two people having to like channel back the amount of urge to be together, if you will. Keep these pages 13.
they won't you they they can feel that you're not somebody anymore that is going to be that sense of as soon as you're as soon as you know you're what I want my go with me here you're not instantly like my eyes are only for you not saying that you're somebody that's looking around doing like that you're, like it's a representation of you have my attention but I have still the world around me and I'm not going to put all of my faith in this connection i put faith in my part in this connection and i understand your freedom of will has a factor though in how this turns out i see two people who are in touch with their with their inner child as well which is a very hard thing to master at any age. Your souls feel that they can play together. Your souls feel... Soft. Understood. It's like the most spiritual work, the most downloads you two receive together... Is when you're simply staring at each other, not even necessarily talking. When you are separated. You guys have been talking this whole time without realizing it. There was a long time that this person got off course. But it looks like they had to look within at the monsters. The self-sabotage. The moments of courage that were actually just moments of... Motivation and go with me. Motivation is a great thing, duh. But there's a difference between being motivated and then doing stuff while you're motivated versus only having consistency, being in moments of unmotivation, not feeling like it's easy to do something. What really makes a person is no matter if you're feeling motivated or unmotivated, your consistency is following through with your actions. This person lived a little bit on a stage of the thrill. And once the butterflies or that motivational energy, the pre-workout effect, if you will, lingered off, that's when this, this fairness scale started coming in with them. There could have been some... Okay, another thing is they could have felt like they owed their time or energy, etc. to somebody else when their soul was calling for you. So a big block that happened was the fact that they felt like they it wouldn't be fair to be with you or it wouldn't be fair to do this with you when life is not black and white. Everything is situational. Some of these people, because their collective things resonates, they were in another relationship, uh, deeply invested in, in hyper independency, deeply invested in a person they were waiting to come back for them that they thought, oh, if I explore with anybody else, then I'm fucking up all the work I've done before. There was distractions on both of your ends. There's ignorance on both of your ends. And there's been self-development on both of your ends. Spirit wants you to know there's a reason that they're even allowing them to pop back into your life. Other people that you had gone through trials and errors with and, and once you said, we're good, we're done, we're separated, and they didn't try ever again, you must understand there is a frequency that is sent to them of do not return to my person. Your guides, your higher self, etc. stated, you have served your purpose in my person's life. Do not even come back to the gate. And that's why they literally cease to exist from your life. If a person like this, and, it's, and this is a respectable way, I can feel it. I can see how much more they want to express to you, but they're holding self-control. The fact that they even got to your gate to begin with means that they passed some points with your guides. So, with that being said, now it's time to marinate, to rest, 
Know that there is something deeper between you two. And Spirit is encouraging for you to not put your shields down, but rest them on your sides. Hear this person out. Remember, you are the cake. You are the sweetness of your life. And other people are the cherry on top. No matter if this person and you are in each other's lives or not, you're high vibrational. No one person can control your timeline unless you let them. People come and go, but who is meant to be will always return or will stay. Every situation is different. But when you're simply in a state of, I'm not afraid of letting things go once they've finally served their purpose... And sometimes letting something go means I literally have no idea if it'll ever come back to me. But simply, if it doesn't, I am okay. If it does, if they do, etc., I am okay. I am more than okay. If I simply do not hold an attachment to my life having to be one certain way with one certain person, and I had to have this exact car, I had to be in this exact house, I have to have this exact job. When you allow your life to flow, hold self-control, but truly let spirit like take the wave, that's when you're in control of your timeline. You got to think the best example is like a surfer. The surfer is in control of himself and the balance of the board, but he's riding the waves. And, and the waves are the universe. It's the energy flowing around us. Long story short for now, looks like this person is, is riding the waves by your side. They understand they're not perfect. And they do also understand that they do have a time of proving things to you. But you're going to make sure that your ego does not hold on to that form of power. Because relationships are balance, give and take. You have to keep yourself in check and notice and recognize, am I holding too deeply onto something? Am I avoiding my own growth by seeing things from a different point of view, etc.? Never giving excuse, giving understandances and paying attention to the full picture. You are meant to be happy. You are meant to have a happy relationship. You're not destined for one specific way of your life going. You have to ride the waves. So, with that being said, you have released attachment to any individual and now you truly can have what's meant for you. That's what I got for y'all today. We're going to promote the Patreon. Over on Patreon, I have seven tier levels. Tier level one and down all receive two extra videos weekly from yours truly. The beginning is what I call Archangel Ascension, and that's divine feminine energy within yourself. That video is about what the whole upcoming week is the divine feminine energy that you will be exerting and will you be receiving. It's getting you ready. It's a forecast. It's an energy forecast. And it helps you focus on what parts of my sensitivity and my nurture am I going to be promoting and, and, and working with this upcoming week. Then at the end of the week, I have something called Viking Divination, which is the same basis as the Archangel Ascension, except switch out the feminine energy for masculine. The Viking Divination tells you what is my masculine energy, my willpower, my go-getter attitude, my self-composure, etc. That will be utilized out to this 3D existence and what is being brought to me. It gets you an energy forecast for the next upcoming week, both your masculine and feminine energy. From there up, tons of different options. At tier three, that is where the eligibility for my video chat reading giveaway starts. Tier three to seven are eligible for my monthly video chat reading giveaway. I give away two of those every single month. They are valued at $388.88. They're an hour long, one topic of your choosing. Again, I give away two of those every single month. 
to tier three through seven. Tier three starts at $15 a month. Tier one starts at $5 a month. From there on, I have a shit ton of added benefits. Tier seven is my tarot teaching students. If you're wanting to learn specifically how to read tarot further, analyze cards, spreads, companion cards, yaddy yaddy, that is your go-to. Every single week, I place out to them and my apprentices a tarot guidance video. If you are interested in learning more, go to my Patreon. The links are in all of my social media platforms. And also, if you just go to Patreon and you type in Uncle Bronze, I will show up that way as well. Any questions about the uh, about the patreon the tier seven also the apprenticeship program that i offer which is available on my website do not hesitate to give me an email at contact at offprintmint.com and that's what i have for y'all today i'll see you when i see you let's get it